It's rearranging day! Even though I absolutely love my last studio space, I couldn't just plop it into this one and I mentioned in my last studio vlog all of the ideas that I had for this studio space so that it would work for me now in this new house. Here's a little overview of what it looks like before. This is going to be part one of the rearranging slash makeover just because there's a lot to do but with the things that we were able to do just across a few days has already made such a huge difference so I hope you guys like it too. It's like half an hour, but I'm gonna use like three seconds of each thing. <laughs> Getting there. I think I planned on having this thing over here and then that Alex over there, but maybe I'll just put this Alex right there. It's perfect. <laughs> right? Just pull this Okay. Yeah. That desk over here. Uh. Work behind your porch. Probably put my work desk over here. Are you good? Yeah, thank you, babe. Cool. I love you. Thank you. And probably put a chair over there. A little reading cozy nook. Here's all the screws for the legs. Thank you. Let's see if my doggy follows me. I'm going back in the studio. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, he's just going to the bed. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> just kidding, he's coming. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, back to this. So it's a few hours later. We don't have any of that pretty morning light coming in because this is an east facing window or both of these are east facing windows. So once it hits noon, there is no more, but that's okay. If I'm doing com computer work and whatnot, it's better to not have a bunch of light streaming in your face and then the room can get really hot too. So I did what I had planned in the last video and we took the this shorter uh, desk that was in this corner over here and we basically just did the same thing that we did with the really long desk but with this one so that it could fit over here. I could have left all the legs on there, but there's like a little dip in the middle because I've used this desk for a really, really long time and it's, you know, those cheap desks from Ikea. So I just wanted it to have a little more strength and support because I didn't want it to dip anymore. And I had measured everything before and, and made sure that the uh, Alex on the wheels would still fit in there because all of the sheets, like acrylic and plywood, I want to keep under the Glowforge for easier access, and I really like the Billy there. I'll probably uh, switch up the shelves. And then I haven't put the legs on the packing station table yet, but I just put it there just to make sure that it would fit. So yeah, um, let's keep going. <laughs> Nick said these were the screws for the packing table, so let's hope he's right. <laughs> I call 911 if she becomes right. Hi, baby. You're always helping put together desks. Mm -hmm. You're always helping. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. You remember how this goes? Do you remember? I don't remember how this goes. What's up, Chico? What happened? You see someone? You see something? Why are you whining? So I'm not sure if I can keep my plant there because there's a vent right there. 
when I had the Billy over here, I put a Photonia on it and it was a cold day and the heat was on practically all day and it burnt to a crisp. I love the desk here though. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's looking so good. I love it. This is exactly how I wanted it to look. I want to be able to look out the windows and get as much sunlight as possible and use the natural light for videos because nothing better than, you know, getting some vitamin D while packing orders. <laughs> So for the first time ever, <laughs> ever, in all the places I have put up these pegboards, this is the first time that there's actually studs that I can put both of them on. So uh, one's going to be practically touching um, the door frame right here, and then the other one's going to be almost touching this wall over here, but they fit. And then I'll have a little space here in the middle, so maybe I'll just put like a cute little wall hanging that Tortue Crafts gifted me. So maybe it'll be perfect right there, right there in the middle. So it'll not look so funny that the pegboards are almost touching the wall, but you know, I'd rather put them right into studs rather than have to put, um, God, I'm blanking out. I don't even think I took my medication today. Those things that you put when there's no studs. Anchors. Anchors. <laughs> okay, I got some tools. I got some of these monkey hooks if I happen to hang some pictures today. And like, what the heck is this packaging? <laughs> like, I find it funny that they even call them monkey hooks, but there's literally monkeys on here. So, whatever. I think Nick got it from Amazon. <laughs> I got this because I think the drill was running low. Got this little pack of screws from IKEA. Got some chocolate, measuring tape, and my medicine because I realized in the last clip I forgot to take it.
<laughs> Hi, babies. Hi, babies. My boys. Hmm? All right, I've been in here for hours, so I think I might need to wrap it up today and just continue tomorrow. But we've got our packing station over here. I moved the cart next to the hand stamping station, station, hand stamping station, goodness. Um, and I'm going to put my hand stamping supplies there just because I wanted a permanent spot for the Cricut machine. So since we had that under the hand stamping station and it's kind of hard to access and gets in the way of my knees, we put that there, put the Cricut here. I don't think even pulling it all the way forward that the Cricut will have enough space in the back to, you know, cut and do its thing, but it'll be really easy to move it from here to here, and I have a computer right there, so this one has the Cricut app on it also, so I can just cut stickers here while I'm prepping other packaging, like putting stickers on glass. Why is this here? <laughs> putting uh, stickers on glassine and, you know, all the usual, like putting the polishing cloths and the stickers inside of these. We moved the desk over there. We had that extra Alex since we're not going to be using the corner desk in the main area anymore. So that'll be holding the printers and I'm excited about that because my main computer will be right next to the printers. So it'll be easy to keep an eye on them. And then in this corner over here, we have an extra recliner upstairs. It's not the cutest, but it'd be nice to have a recliner. So then if I get tired of editing on the desk, I can hang out on the recliner or read a book, relax, whatever. <laughs> and then this is gonna be moved into the closet over here. And I'm gonna put all of my sublimation stuff and whatnot in it since I'm not using it as often. So this area will be really open and you know the dogs can come in here and play i can do yoga <laughs> i don't know i always think of step brothers is it <laughs> so much room for activities <laughs> i still have things to unpack in the closet there so it's a process can't really get it all done in one day but i'm happy with how it's looking so far it's the next day I'm sitting at the desk. That's not really set up, but I'm gonna start editing this video soon because I recorded so much of the rearranging yesterday. There's a lot of footage, so I need to sort through that. But I'm prepared. I've got some dark chocolate with almonds and some banana bread that I baked. It's pretty late in the afternoon. What time is it? It's like 2.45 because um, I spent a lot of the morning cleaning. I tried to do like a once a week deep cleaning in the house um, just because, I don't know, that's one of my goals to just stay on top of stuff so that it never gets that bad. And we have two dogs so fur can accumulate a lot and I want to reduce, you know, toxins and allergens that are in the air. I didn't mention in this video we were uh, going to adopt two kitties. When we went to adopt these two kitties, they're a, bond, a bonded pair of brothers. Um, one of them uh, vomited, so the rescue kept them because they really want to keep cats that don't seem like they're 100% healthy before they adopt them and they take them back to see the rescue vet and whatnot. You know, they're really responsible. So we just took one of them. And long story short, they had an unnoticeable blood infection that caused their health to rapidly deteriorate and the one that we were able to take home passed away less than 48 hours from when we adopted him. He was perfectly fine the first night and the next day I just started to notice pretty quickly that something was off and contacted the rescue um, set up to take him back because they have emergency um, medication and shots to give them um, before taking them to their vet and sadly by the time we drove over there and were an hour away from 
meeting up with the rescue to give them the cat. He was already gone. So because of that, they started treating his brother that they still had in their hands uh, because they were so devastated that the kitty that we had, Bentley, um, had passed away and they wanted to make sure that his brother, Brando, wouldn't have the same outcome since they are brothers. Uh, but sadly, the very next day from when Bentley passed away, Brando also passed away. And, you know, it made us feel a little less guilty because we thought that we did something wrong even though we didn't and did everything that we could to make sure that this cat would be fine. We just still felt horrible that <laughs> he passed away and we, you know, started just getting really um, bad thoughts and thinking of what ifs, like if we kept Bentley with his brother Brando and and they were both in the care of the rescue and their vets that maybe uh, he would still be alive, but um, it seems that their blood infection was just so progressive and severe that um, even with the medical care that Brando received, he couldn't survive. So we were interested in a, another pair of cats before <laughs> we were interested in this brother pair and the only reason we didn't get the that first pair was because one of them was sleeping in the litter box and got an eye infection and then the second one was starting to scratch at his eye and you know the rescue said that the, that looked like the beginnings of an eye infection too so they were going to take them to get treated by the vet and start medication for their eye infection so instead of waiting for that whole process because sometimes cats can be pending for a long time if the vets find something odd <laughs> and they want to resolve it before they're adopted so she said that there were another pair of tabby cats that were a bonded pair you know the one that we ended up adopting and at the end of the day like all the cats need to get adopted at some point so if we can stop a pair of kitties from just sitting there awaiting adoption then we're gonna go with that first but yeah it was a really weird detour and we're back to the original pair of kitties so I recorded a few minutes before this like a whole like 40 minutes <laughs> of explaining the whole situation in depth I don't know if I'm going to post it just because it was just such a sad and dramatic experience we're just really happy that the kitty that we had died knowing that it was loved and that it got to be taken care of because what these kitties had just came on so quickly and took them away so quickly that who knows if they would have passed away alone, um, you know, awaiting adoption. So even though we only got to be cat parents for less than 48 hours, you know, it's worth it to us. I'm, I'm glad that we got to be there for him, uh, be there for his last breath and, you know, experience that and, and take from it. That aside, um, expect some kitty content. I know it's kind of like random and unexpected, but you know, th that's how YouTube is. You don't know everything that's going on behind the scenes and what plans there are going on. So uh, we should be getting that first pair in a few days because their uh, eyes are a lot better and they're going to be finishing their medication soon and we're excited to add to our family again. <laughs> The reason I wanted to share that was because while I was cleaning, I saw a little kitty paw print <laughs> um, from when the cat came out of the litter box and it just, you know, inspired me to at least mention it just so that, you know, we don't have a video saying we got two new cats and not acknowledge all of the stuff that happened in between because <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> to pretend that it's all rainbows and butterflies when it's not. Let's get into tomorrow now where, you know, I do some more rearranging, okay? <laughs> to 
move this thing. Nice and open in here now. I need to figure out where to put that thing. Maybe when I put the long desk in the closet, I'll just stick it in the closet. And cut in there, because I usually try to cut a bunch at once. Okay, so we have a recliner upstairs. So I'm thinking maybe I can put it there and just make that like a little cozy reading nook area. I might have to shift this over just a tad for a little more room so let's do that Not horrible, right? I feel like it looks better in person than in camera, but whatever. You can put some pillows, make it cute. This is like a second hand that was also a hand-me-down, so um, it's been through a lot. Chico, you cleaning the carpet for me? <laughs> well, here's how it looks so far. So there's my stamping area, my packing station where I can enjoy some warm sunshine on my face while I'm packing. We move the billy here. You like a Chico? <laughs> we move the billy there, added an extra shelf so I could put more mugs. Move the Glowforge here with the table modification and setting up my work desk right there. Need to hang some stuff and decor, and then my reading, cozy editing area. So I think it looks really nice and open. Have 
all of this space here for our pets to lounge in or we have an extra yoga mat I can bring that up do yoga here all I see though is that we need some major cable management especially since most of my stuff is white it just sticks out like a sore thumb but yeah so this is part one of the studio rearranging slash makeover I guess and I still need to, you know, put stuff like the stuff for this pegboard, hang some art, some shelves, maybe do some final organization of the items, clear out the closet. But other than that, I'm really excited with how it's turning out so far. And I guess I will see you for part two. And once I'm done that, we'll have another studio tour. <laughs> so. You didn't have to wait that long <laughs> to get an entire tour. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!